Hello ladies and gents, buenos dias mi amigos, que tal? Something completely new for you today. I went for a test ride on, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful, fantastic bikes for 2021. The Aprilia RS 660 or the Aprilia uh, Tuono 660. What a cracking bike. I just fell in love with it. A really amazing bike. So I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts. First of all, to me, it is a gorgeous combination of colors and that you can only get from the Italian designers. Aprilia and Ducatis are both well known for their elegance and eye-catching design. The colors on these bikes, they're absolutely nailed it. Other manufacturers could take a lesson from them in how to produce a beautiful motorbike. I'm sick and tired of boring colors that come in on the market, even in the 2021. So the RS660 has the clip-on handlebars. So this is the more uh, sporty ride compared to the RS2 Honor which we'll be looking at in a minute. I was quite surprised when I sat on uh, the RS60. Um, I'm 5'7", with a 30 inside leg, but I was on my tiptoes. Having said that, the bike is so light that I didn't feel any loss of confidence because I was on my tiptoes. And then our ride was simply superb. I won't go through all the specs and you know all that information you can you can find it online or from the dealers. Uh, but sh very quickly, it's, it's got three riding modes, uh, commute, dynamic, and individual, which means you can set things uh, on your bike to your own choice. For example, ABS off or wheelie off, etc. Uh, the dynamic and commute modes that I've tried were both absolutely fantastic. So what I really liked about this bike is it's a 100 HP, well, nearly, or a bike, but it will do what you want. Uh, you don't feel like you have to push the bike or, or whatever to get the maximum out of it. If you want to go slow, it's happy to go slow. If you're causing in town, it's happy to do it. Uh, and if you open the throttles, fantastic, fantastic response. The quick shift on the RS, and I can only compare it to my bike, which is a BMW 750 GS, as you know, is so smooth, it is unbelievable. Uh, on my BM, I cannot use the quick shift from first to second without a judder. I'd say the quick shift shifter and the blipper uh, are about 99% better than the one on the BMW. That's my experience and my opinion. The engine noise is sublime. It's hard to describe it. It's, it's, it's got really, really sexy noise. Just the right level of volume uh, as well. Again, when riding my BMW, I need earplugs. With the Aprilia, I, I, forgot, I forgot to take them with me. So I, but I didn't need them. That's, what, that's, that's how I felt. I just sat back, went with the moment, and enjoyed it. Fantastic. Uh, thoughtful response, brakes, uh, there are Brembo's, and there are Brembo's on my BM, but I can tell you that they are much, much more powerful on the Aprilia. Uh, so, although completely fantastic, uh, my choice, I'm afraid, if it comes to it, it wouldn't be the 660 RS. Instead, I would go for the Tuono um, for two reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, I discovered, because I've, I've sat on both bikes, but I've only ridden the RS, but I've sat on Tuono, and it's much, much lower. Uh, with the Tuono, I could uh, reach the ground with both feet. The RS, I was on tiptoes, as I said before. Um, the other reason, uh, second reason is the RS is, is more of a sporty bike. Uh, you've got the clip-on bars a bit lower. The Tuono is, you've got the uh, wide bar and it's quite quite high, so uh, I'm quite confident that I can do more hours of touring on that bike, on the Tuono, than the RS. 
Now, having said all that, the Tuono is around four or five hundred pounds cheaper uh, than the RS. But what Aprilia have done, uh, and I don't know why, I, I just can't, it doesn't make sense to me, to um, sell the Tuono five hundred pounds or four hundred pounds cheaper than the RS. But the Tuono, they've taken off, there's no quick shift, it doesn't come with a quick shifter, or the corner in ABS, or the corner in light. Uh, why? You know, what, what's the point? Uh, especially that if you wanted to buy the Tuono, you can add the quick shifter and you can add the cornering light, cornering light and you can add probably the, I'm not sure about that one, we, we still need, need to check on that one, the cornering ABS for an extra money. So what's that all about? Anyway, in conclusion, I'm so tempted to go for the Aprilia Toronto. Depends, of course, on the deal I get on my uh, BMW. The difference is that when I open the garage and see my BMW, the 750 GS, and take it out, there is a smile on my face while I'm riding and I enjoy it. However, imagine opening the garage door and seeing this beautiful Aprilia, the smile from ear to ear is before even a sat on it. And that's the difference. That's what would make me happy. Um, it's a brilliant bike and I'm really, really tempted as I say. So folks, amigos, watch this space. Take care, adios. In conclusion, it's a really, really beautiful, brilliant bike. And I'm really, really tempted. Uh, a lot depends on if me amor will allow me. Would you, darling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, oh.